invaded Brian Hall's office as we do our preview for the Eskimos and the BC Lions this week in Vancouver. The game goes Friday night. Pre-game show right here on 6.30. Chad starts at 6 o'clock. We'll have the kickoff just after 8 o'clock from BC Place. Dave, two games left for the Eskimos. We know the situation. They're out of the playoffs, but their approach still has to be the same. Players and coaches still getting ready to play a game and to try and win a game. You are playing professional football, am I correct? You are. Yeah, I, I, we're not. We're calling professional football. Even for the broadcasters, we still have to be professional. But for a professional football player, uh, this is still game 17 on the schedule. You have to take the same approach as you do each and every week as far as preparing to win a football game. Yes, it means, uh, it doesn't mean that there'll be postseason football in 2013, but there are jobs on the line for next year. Uh, players can kind of elevate themselves and also can maybe play themselves off this football team. Uh, so they have to approach this like any other football game. The, the approach is prepare to win. Couple of key players missing, both veterans, both starters won't play in the game, it looks like, as of right now anyway. On offense, Fred Stamps looks like he's out of the lineup, and on defense, Chris Thompson's not going to play. Well, two big losses, uh, two veterans on uh, both sides of the football that are relied upon a lot. We know Fred Stamps leading the CFL in, uh, in receiving yards right now. Uh, he's been battling a lower body injury all season long, and of course he took that nasty spill on the track uh, in the second half when he dropped the football in the end zone. Uh, boy, that was a that was a nasty spill. That that track's lethal, folks. Uh, so they're going to miss him. There's no doubt about it. That means uh, someone else gets to step up. Uh, Carlton Mitchell. We'll see him, a new import receiver. He'll play in the game as well. And that means obviously a Darius Bowman is elevated to the number one receiver status. On the flip side, on the defense, Chris Thompson, who's been. I think a really good uh, player in that secondary, as usual. You know, he's a uh, you know interception leader. He's been very good at locking down receivers. We get to see Eric Samuels probably in that spot. Eric Samuels, the jack of all trades, can play all five positions in the secondary. He can be the Sam linebacker as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing Samuels play. Uh, for the BC Lions, big football game. Ooh. They've lost <laughs> three in a row. They're going to the playoffs limping right now. They need to get their game turned around. Travis Lilly looks like he won't play a game. Uh, it'll be a sixth week in a row. He's been out with the shoulder injury. Thomas DeMarco probably to get the start. They also have Buck Pierce there as an option. Mm -hmm. But they need to start winning some football games. Well, I, I wish I had a leash, but let's pretend this is the leash. It's a little shorter now for Thomas DeMarco. Uh, if things don't go well with Thomas DeMarco, they will go to Buck Pierce. That's the plan, according to Mike Benavides. It's a team that really can't run the football, although Stefan Logan showed some flashes last week. Andrew Harris has fallen off the map. He's been an Eskimo killer the last couple of years, but uh, he hasn't really got much done here. Um, I'm really curious to see if the Lions are going to be a confident team out of the gate or they're going to be a nervous team out of the gate. We'll know early. We certainly will. And early will be 8 o'clock Edmonton time as the Eskimos play in Vancouver against the BC Lions. Two-hour pregame show for you on Friday night. We'll get it started at 6 o'clock from BC Place in Vancouver.